Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we will see about ADMS Cloud Formation. ADMS Cloud Formation is mainly, for, mainly used for infrastructure as a code. Uh, this is with this AWS Cloud Formation is mainly used to model, provision, and manage AWS resources as well as the third-party resources in an automated fashion. So, if you want to deploy a uh, solution in, uh, comprised of different components, and uh, and you want to deploy that one, and if you want to deploy the same component into uh, another uh, region, it will be very difficult if you do it manually. But if we create a template for this one, we can easily deploy this uh, template into other region so that we will not have any issues. So that's the main purpose of this cloud formation. This is mainly we are using as using as a infrastructure as infrastructure as code here. So if you typically if you see here, uh, you, the code you can return either in a YAML or JSON file. So basically, the YAML is preferred now as compared to JSON. Majority of the companies would prefer to use YAML file rather than JSON. And you can have this YAML file upload to the S3 bucket, or you can keep it as it in your local. And once that YAML file is ready, what you can do is you can use AWS Cloud Formation. Uh, in that Cloud Formation service, you can use this YAML file to create the uh, services, AWS services, or any other service whichever you want. You can create uh, the Cloud Formation. In the Cloud Formation, you have something called a stack. A stack means like you have to upload this uh, uh, file in the stack and stack will take care of creating those serv uh, services in the environment so here in this uh, stack you can uh, you can uh, create the stack using uh, either from browser console or you can use this uh, um, uh, AWS here like a command tool you can use or help of, help of APS also you can create the stack and once the stack is created then automatically once based on your yaml description the uh, configuration everything will be uh, i mean all the uh, all the particular uh, provisions will be happened in the environment whichever you are selected then in that environment all the source will be created so this is predominantly being used for infrastructure code purpose so what if like if you want this is mainly used like when if you want to create the same resource in another region we can use this one for example if you want to create the same thing in a different account then we can use this cloud formation or something if you want if something deleted happen accidentally but you want to revert the things back then you can use this cloud formation exactly predominantly this is main for purpose of this uh, cloud formation uh, in this video we'll see how we can create a s3 bucket uh, using a cloud formation uh, in two ways one with parameters other one without parameters let's jump into aws and see how we can do that so first we'll see how we can create a s3 bucket using cloud formation template uh, without any parameters so this is my uh, yaml file the name is bucket.yml and this is the template i have mentioned here the i have the uh, template format version next i followed by resources uh, this is a mandatory uh, field you have to use here then i am using a type as a s3 bucket and the properties have given bucket name bucket name I have given as dev cloud format and hyphen bucket so once i use this template i am going to create this uh, bucket uh, by using cloud formation uh, i'll just quickly show how we can uh, upload this in uh, cloud formation and create this bucket right now i'm in aws console i'm going to click uh, cloud formation now i have opened cloud of cloud formation here are going to click uh, create stack the resource standard so first one is the pre-request is a prepared template my template is ready so i'm choose template is ready then specify a template path either you can choose a s3 path or you can upload a file in, my, in this case i'm going to upload a file so from my local machine i'm going to upload a file and the file name is bucket.yaml file click on open so if you see in my bucket is being uploaded and uploaded now so you can either view this yaml file with help of designer or we can build our own uh, yaml file with help of designer also so for the time being i'm going to click uh, click on next so you want to give a stack name here i'm going to give a stack name as dev bucket uh, mission one so and if you have any parameters in the yaml file i'm going to list it here because in my yaml file there is no parameter that's the reason that is showing us no parameters then click on next so i'm going to keep the remaining everything as a default one click on next and 
now I'm going to click on create a stack so if you see here once you click the create stack the events will be started uh, with the different uh, options different uh, events will be triggered one after the other you can see in this log this if you want to stack info you can go into the stack info and see that information which you mentioned in your uh, uh, yaml file and if you see the stack has been started now initiated resource creation initiated then the resources uh, out outputs if there is an output in that uh, yaml definition you will find the output here and if there is a parameter you can see the parameters here and if you want to see the template this is the template i have used here if you see here i have mentioned that bucket name is cloud uh, dev cloud formation bucket and change the assets hmm. you can see here uh, now we show the create complete let's jump to s3 and see whether this has been created Right now I'm in S3 and you could see this uh, bucket dev cloud formation bucket this has been created now this is one way of creating uh, S3 bucket uh, using cloud formation uh, this is a simple one I've just created with a, a simple uh, um, simple definition simple definition YAML file we can see an example how we can pass parameter uh, in the YAML file and create the bucket uh, let's uh, see how can we how we can do that uh, in the next one I have created another uh, YAML file called bucket-palm so in this YAML file I'm going to pass parameter and the help of the parameter I'm going to create the bucket if you see my template here uh, this is my uh, bucket template for creating a S3 bucket uh, using cloud formation so here my parameter I'm going to pass here is the versioning either you can use uh, versioning as enabled or suspended so the default one choose as suspended and if you have choose I mean allowed values are enabled and suspended uh, you can see this in the friend uh, when you see, uh, open this in cloud formation you will find a drop down box we can choose any of this one enabled or suspended but the default one I've mentioned here is suspended next one is I have mentioned owner here and we can pass owner from the uh, cloud formation next is a department I have choose the department as default as IT here next i'm going to give the resource name which resource i'm going to create in this one i'm going to create a bucket type as bucket then i'm going to give the bucket name here the bucket name is uh, i want to create i'm going to use the stack name as a bucket name here so on what stack name we're creating this bucket i mean on what stack name we're creating this stack that will go to the bucket name here then access control given as private the versioning all those things i have mentioned here and then if you go down for the last uh, uh, I mean here if you see I have mentioned the tags here the tags key equal owner value uh, all those things I have mentioned here and next if you see the outputs uh, output I have the mentions bucket name this is bucket ARN bucket domain and bucket uh, stack domain name digital domain name and the URL all those things I have mentioned as output let's uh, run let's upload this YAML file into cloud to form a template and see how what happens now I'm in cloud formation I'm going to click on create stack with new resource the template is ready and template resources are my from local upload template file I'm choosing to choose a file here and my file is uh, bucket dot uh, bucket hyphen palm dot yaml file and if you see now I've uploaded this bucket hyphen palm dot yaml file into this one into cloud formation I'm going to click on next now so I'm going to give a stack name the stack name is dev underscore uh, sorry dev hyphen cloud formation bucket something like this I've, I've mentioned a stack name here so if you see here the department this is hard coded in my YAML file that's the reason it mentions hard coded here and the owner I can give any owner the owner name here anything as my owner versioning i told you right we are either you can choose enabled or suspended i default i've given a suspend that's reason you could be suspended here so these are the parameters that are defined in my yaml file that's reason you see all those parameters in this yaml here so my stack name now is dev hyphen cf hyphen bucket uh, 2 then click on next then if you want to give any tags you can give all those tags here but i'm not going any i'm not going to give anything here right now remaining things i'm going to keep as it is click on next so if you see now the department I mentioned as IT and owner is anything 
and versioning suspended. So these are parameters we mean passed from the cloud formation. And now I'm going to click on create stack. So if you see now we have the stack info and we have the events which list you list you all the logs what's happening in the background. Then you could find the resource and you could find the output here, the parameters, templates, and this is the template I've uploaded. This is the template, this is the definition, YAML definition in my YAML file. So I, this is the one. And if you see the events, now it shows completed here. And if you see the output, you could see this is the output I mentioned in my template. So that's the reason you see all the output here. So you'll get the domain name, um, bucket, uh, dual domain name stack domain name bucket name and regional bucket all those things url also now we just go into s3 i'll refresh this one and now you see this is the stack name i mentioned dev hyphen co bucket hyphen 2 that's that's my stack name dev co hyphen 2 this is the same name the bucket has been created here if you go inside further you will find all those information see here the bucket uh, logical id is uh, the department as it owner is anything all those things we passed from the yaml file that's reason you could see all this here and you mentioned the private bucket permission also see everything is like kind of Public all public is being blocked here. Block all private public access of X. So in this way you can create a, a bucket uh, in cloud formation either by passing parameters or without passing parameters you can create a, a bucket. Uh, and one, one more thing I want to say here is like once uh, if you feel like something you've done accidentally like uh, i mean something i've done uh, wrongly and you don't want to you want to delete those uh, resources uh, for example you have a number of uh, components in your uh, stack and it's been created but if you want to delete them you don't have to go individually go and delete uh, each of the resources what instead you can do is go into the stack and just click right click that stack and delete that one so this will automatically del delete all the resources which is being created as part of the stack for example, in this stack, if I have 10 resources being created part of the stack, this stack, when you delete this stack, it's going to delete the everything, everything from this particular stack. So you don't have to worry about uh, worry about individual resources being created as part of this task. In that way, this is really helpful. And also, you should be very careful when you are create, deleting a particular stack. So this is going to delete everything uh, which is being created as part of the stack. And similarly, I'm going to delete this also. Um, since I've created this for demo, so I'm going to delete all those things stacks now. So this is really helpful when you want to deploy a uh, code, uh, deploy things as an infrastructure code and this is really helpful so that it saves a lot of time. That's all pretty much for this video and thanks for watching.